This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. So Samaria Rice, who was the mother of Tamir Rice. Tamir Rice was the 12-year-old child who was killed by Cleveland police back in 2014. Had went on the Clay Kane show and she was discussing what she thought about people like uh, Tamika Mallory and Until Freedom and also Black Lives Matter just monopolizing, quote, monopolizing the fight for racial justice. Here's what she said in an interview. Well, it is clout chasing. Anytime you have activists, people, we don't even know where these people come from. That's be speaking on behalf of our children. We never ask them to represent us. And then you rep the benefits with movie deals and book deals. And, and, and uh, you know, you, you develop a platform off our children. I'm still building a center for my son. And Black Lives Matter got the nerd to act, say they got $90 million after six months or something. So well, as I'm building and still fighting for justice for my son, because we still got a, a 10 months left to get a perjury charges on Timothy Loman on a state level. They, those type of people, Sean Kings, Tamika Mallory, Patrice Cullors, y'all make it very hard for us to fight our fight. Man, I, I thought they would be helping the fight. The fact that they're on the front lines, the fact that they're out there protesting, the fact that they're out there pushing the narrative. I thought they would be helping. Maybe now, another issue that that uh, was getting resolved over the weekend, hopefully, is Black Lives Matter. They've met with the Michael Brown Chosen for Change Foundation. That's a nonprofit organization that was founded by the father of Michael Brown, his son. Um, some people would say he sparked the Black Lives Matter movement after he was fatally shot by a Ferguson police officer back in 2014. And so they were saying that basically Black Lives Matter was getting all these donations and money and none of that was going toward uh, any of these organizations, the Michael Brown Chosen for Change Foundation. So they did meet over the weekend and they've been sharing their experiences from the past six years. They put out a press release too. They said when a family loses a loved one to violence, that family attempts to develop new ways to live with life without their loved ones. The concepts of normal and healing may become elusive. For the few families whose loved ones' deaths actually receive media attention, those families are forcibly uh, ushered into a movement that they may or may not have been involved in previously. While some families appreciate community leaders who have taken up the baton to organize, advocate, and fund the movement, many families are still seeking justice. And so uh, they said they're, I guess, working on developing relationships right now. And Tamika, now, Tamika Mallory okay. responded right on her podcast. Now, here is what Tamika Mallory had to say about attempting to contact Samaria Rice. From my perspective, I want to make sure that as a mother... Uh, that I speak directly to Ms. Rice. And, and also, just so that folks know, I have reached out um, through some other individuals. I don't have a direct contact for Ms. Rice, but I have reached out um, and uh, let some other folks know that if she wants to speak with me, I'm available to do so. I feel like we all have failed her. Um, as a nation, I think that whenever a child or any person, but particularly a child is killed, this nation should have erupted. Listen, God bless Samaria Rice, uh, sending her positive vibes, love, light, and healing energy always. But I don't think Tamika failed, you know, Tamir Rice. Uh, I understand what Tamika means when she says the nation should have erupted, but this wicked white supremacist system failed Tamir Rice, just like they have historically failed black people since we got here. And we cannot allow people to discredit somebody like Tamika Mallory. Tamika Mallory was born into activism. That's all she's ever done. What she's doing now is what she's been doing her whole life. She devoted her life to activism. Okay, when she was 20, she's 40 now. I know she looks 19, but that's a grown woman. And she's been out but, here on the front lines doing this work for years, and nobody was paying attention, nobody cared. But now because of social media, a lot of what she does gets broadcast to the world. She has an audience. And just because, you know, Y'all just finding out about her. It doesn't mean she's new to this at all. Well, here's some more of what Tamika Mallory had to say on her Street Politicians podcast. I think it's important to clarify whether or not we have used Miss Rice's child in campaigns or in speeches or fundraising or any of those types of efforts. We have not. I have been very, very careful not to speak about cases or individuals that I have not worked directly with the families. And in, in particular, in this situation, we've never even met. And so therefore, I would never be so disrespectful as to speak about her child or to have a campaign that addresses her child or that uses the, her child's name to uplift any cause. 
Mm. And, yo, to say that Tamika is doing this for clout is just wrong. It's just not accurate. And I, I don't know why people think these folks are rich. But even if they do acquire money because of who they are and the work they do, why not? Like, Tamika Mallory got a story. She deserves everything well, Tamika she's Mallory receiving and, right now. And I love how her she responded because she does understand that with Miss Rice. She said, I understand that pain and trauma. Mm -hmm. And she said she is available to be supportive. And if necessary, she said, I'm here for phone calls. I'm here for any type of conversations. But she did clarify she has been in the social justice space for more than 25 years. Yeah, she was born also, in activism. But, and being but active I love that because that could have, you know, people get very defensive. But we also have to understand that. Obviously, Samaria Rice has gone through what she's Absolutely. lost a child. Absolutely. And it hurts every day, I'm sure. So, you know, and it seems like she's feel, feels like she shouldn't have called about her name. So hopefully this can lead to something beneficial. I just think, you know, we know being an activist is thankless work. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if an activist gets a book deal, they earn that. You know what I mean? If they if they get a podcast they're getting paid for, they earn that. Like, you know, if they're getting booked for speaking engagements, they earn that. And I want somebody like Tamika on the Grammy stage delivering the same kind of message she's been delivering for years, her whole life. But now the world gets to see and hear. And do we think that activists didn't get book deals and stuff back in the day? MLK Jr. had book deals. They Malcolm X had book deals. James Baldwin had book deals. I can't speak for any of these other folks, but I, I can only speak for Tamika Mallory. She is who she says she is. All right. Period. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. And can I give a shameless plug? That's the Street Politicians you podcast. Would, you want to do it right now? Yes. Go on the, for it. On the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. She earned that. And the book is coming out when? State of Emergency, May 11th. How to Win in the Country We Built. You can pre-order okay, it right now. You can pre-order it now. She earned that. Damn right. All right. All right. All right. Sheesh. All right. Positivity. It is positive. No, I'm just saying, just the energy, just change. Like we are, we are, we all on the same page. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so, so we all on the same page. God, like I said, God bless and Mayor Rice, sending her positive energy, love, light, and healing energy. The only, just the only people that failed her is this wicked white supremacist system that has been failing us since the beginning of time. There we go. All right, shout to Revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, the People's Choice mixes up next. Let's go.